What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone this is tutorial 69 and today's topic will be how to create stream lead chat app obviously it is going to be a voice enable chat app using Langchain and GPT-40 so this is the first time I'm creating voice assistant or voice enable chat app where you will ask the question to your uh, AI uh, with the help of your microphone means you're not going to type anything you will be just going to ask using your uh, like own voice or maybe some audio system the system will understand the audio it will convert that into a simple text and after that it will use the LLM to get the answer so basically it's going to be a voice enable chat application so in this tutorial I'll be going to actually um, use one way input as audio means the uh, input will be audio but the output will be text and in the next tutorial it will be audio to audio means you will ask the question as audio and from the system also you will get an answer in the form of audio but in this tutorial the input will be audio and the output will be text okay so let's start working on this so what exactly you gonna do so we'll be going to build a stream lead ui to expect user accept user input as audio and then we'll convert the given audio as text and then we'll use the gpt 40 omni model uh, with the user input to get the answer this is going to be a very straightforward simple, tu simple tutorial i am expecting that this is going to be done within 5 to 10 minutes, not more than that, okay? And last but not least, you will get the tutorial source code from here, okay? Without wasting much time, let me go ahead with my source code. So first thing first, um, let me import a couple of new modules. So it should be from stream lit, uh, okay? So just hold on, stream lit, mic recorder. So basically you have to import this uh, module, uh, import, so you have to import mic recorder and you have to actually speech to text so basically this module you have to install with the help of PyPy if you just copy this thing and search in Google with uh, it will tell you okay then because it is not part of stream lead default utilities okay and next thing from Langchain okay uh, open AI import chat open AI okay so first thing first we'll be going to write st dot title okay so we have to actually from from stream lead uh, sorry it should be import stream lead as st voice okay okay so basically just write st dot title uh, uh, your one stop voice uh, assistant okay done so next thing we'll be going to actually create something like audio and audio is going to be a mic recorder and what are the things will be required start prompt uh, this prompt so basically we'll be going to use this thing so what are the things will be required I'll tell you so this is going to actually directly record the audio and do it start so first thing first uh, we'll be going to write start prompt okay uh, start prompt and in the start prompt what we'll do we'll be going to write this like uh, maybe Mm, double this thing okay then stop prompt uh, stop prompt will be going to use let's say some button will be coming right so maybe I can just write okay I don't have like a good uh, icon here so that is why I'm using and then we have to use a key okay so key could be anything so i'll just write recorder okay and if audio means if audio is entered then what will happen st dot audio means streamlit can play your audio so basically we can write uh, okay so before doing that write audio and basically the audio actually going to get this information inside something called bytes b y t e s right and basically i just going to 
like comment this part so that I can show you. So basically, let's print the audio. What is actually coming in the audio? Okay, I'll teach you very like uh, slowly. So it, these things are very uh, like important basic things. So this is going to be a dictionary, and inside the dictionary we have a key called bytes, and inside the byte, the all the value will be there for the audio. So now what we'll do? Uh, if I just I don't know. So terminal new terminal right and I will just write something like this and let's make it a little bit smaller okay and we'll write stream late run and main.py okay okay so now what will happen will be going to ask it this is the recording icon so i'll be going to ask uh, i'll be going to record something and see whether i'm able to hear my own voice or not okay hello 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 one two three four five right so basically if you see here it is giving me some information and this entire information is available inside this uh, inside the dictionary called bytes okay yeah this byte so basically what i'll do now i don't know this don't need this part i just want to hear my own voice as a recorded clip okay so it will play now what we'll do uh, i will just minimize this thing and i'll be going to ask some question hello how are you today see it is all already showing here one second hello how are you today okay so everything is top notch till now so this is one way of doing it and but the other way is actually I have to actually convert that into a text and after that I'll be going to do it. So basically what we'll be going to do, I'll be just going to comment this part, though this part is not part of this tutorial. Maybe in the future tutorial definitely I'll be going to use it. But just for your reference, I'm keeping this thing um, like uh, intact in this code. I'm just going to comment out this code, okay, so that you guys can play with this thing. Now what we'll do, I'll be just going to create a variable called text and after that I'll be just going to write speech to text and the same thing like... Uh, uh, start prompt maybe same thing and then stop prompt maybe same thing uh, hash hash and here also a key but this time I'll be going to use a different key you can have any anything anything you can put it as a key but yeah just make sure you did so basically what are the things is required um, just thinking uh, start from this to start recording I think it is not required here so a couple of things will be required here maybe language language is English okay then what else is required then use container with and I can write is actually true okay so basically it is uh, something you have to make sure so i'm actually going through the documentation of this stream read and what else uh, just once yeah obviously uh, just once and key so basically just once will be true and the last thing will be key key will be uh, speech to text so speech to text something like this i'll be going to write now what we'll do i'll be just going to print the text in my console okay let's see whether i'm able to get it done or not now i just minimize this thing and just refresh the page so see start recording is coming okay voice enable chat up so let's see hello how are you today i'm doing good so it is doing something and done and hopefully if i go down i'll be able to see the text hello how are you doing how are you today i'm doing good so i'm doing good part is not coming here let's try this thing again hello how are you doing today i am doing very good okay let's see okay everything is coming fine now now what we'll be going to do i'll be going to use our llm to ask some question okay so if text if the text is actually having value then what will happen so i have to actually initialize an llm llm is actually going to be chat open ai and inside that i'll be just going to pass model equals to gpt hyphen 40 right done and then what is going to happen response response is actually going to be llm dot invoke the very basic thing and text okay and what we'll do we'll be going to write 
st dot write okay so it should be response dot content okay content done everything is done let's see okay let's minimize this thing and let's see hello how are you today so it is doing something let's see hello i am just a computer program so i don't have feelings but i am here to ready to help you how can i assist you today uh, can you write python program for me let's see of course i'd be happy to help you with a python program what kind of program are you looking to create so let's ask him to do some program okay write a simple for loop in python for me there is a simple for loop in python that prints number oh my god it's very good can you write java program or javascript program for me okay okay so let's see whether it is going to yeah happy to help you in the javascript program okay so it's very good okay uh, can you write for loop in python first and then write the same code in javascript okay so yeah so first it is in python then it is in javascript oh my god so i'm amazed by the technological development of gpt4 so basically uh, even streamlit is also uh, did a very tremendous job like whatever you are telling that they, they are actually doing top notch at converting that into a text and also they are converting that into a recorded audio these things are going to be game changer like uh, there are multiple startups companies are actually there for last four five six a month or maybe in one year those are actually developing something in the uh, like voice uh, area or voice industry but with the recent development of uh, streamlit and gpt uh, model so i believe these things are going to kill their job right so guys this is the right time so start uh, working or learning something on the voice image videos like you have to be like multimodal you have to understand the multimodal use cases as well cause ultimate thing is actually to develop something for the industry or for your client right so that is why i start uh, like creating this small small series on voice and hopefully in next coming uh, weeks within next coming weeks the open ai is actually going to release the um, voice like enable model in the gpt api within gpt api so i'll be going to start working on the full fledged like uh, workflow and project and also i'll be going to start working on the video models as well so the upcoming weeks are going to be very interesting okay i'm super excited so just stay tuned with me so with that note i'll be just going to conclude my video over here but before i conclude i would like to request on couple of things guys please try to subscribe to my channel if you're watching this video for the first time and also if you are new to my channel please go ahead and check my playlist because i have uploaded more than 60 i, I think regularly i'm uploading this is a 69 tutorial so you will love it and last but not least if you if 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 you are really liking my work and if you like my videos please try to share our videos with your family friends whoever you think will get some benefit out of it and also your one share one like is actually going to help me to grow day by day because my ultimate growth is actually to reach the large number of audience and then only youtube is going to make my videos discoverable to large number of audience okay so please help me to grow i will always come back with uh, better and better contents okay so that's it for today. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye. Have a nice day and happy weekend.